dar vida y une su voz al trío Los Tres Reyes para interpretar su famosa canción No Me Queda Más, mañana en Primer Impacto. Tejano Music has become a lucrative business, attracting large audiences of all ages. And San Antonio, Texas is the heart of the industry. Tejano Music has taken on a more polished and commercial image. The popularity of the music has attracted major recording labels. The production quality has gotten better and the distribution has gotten much better. And as the fan base has continued to grow, it's a lot easier now to purchase those products. Not only have major record labels come to Texas full force, but even major corporations see the potential of this market. But with all this outside influence, can the music, rooted in tradition, withstand this commercialism? Tejano music is a fan-based, fan-driven music. It's not a type of music that can be legislated from a marketing room or a boardroom in a record company. This represents an incredible merger of music and cultural passion together. And that's something that we find extremely exciting. Like in the past, Tejano music is a hybrid of Mexican and American styles, with lyrics that are still sung in Spanish. But today, the button accordion, once shunned as a conjunto instrument, has finally been recognized as a unique expression of Tejanos and their music. I thought maybe that the accordion would die out, but it didn't. All of a